Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today I'm going to show you how to save money using the subject of gain when bending EMT conduit. Let's say your task is to run a piece of EMT conduit from this fitting to this fitting. And the distance, see I have my green cross line laser right here, so this shows you, see all the rest of these conduits are two inches on center apart. And so this one's going to be two inches on center uh, from the others as well. And here's where the lines cross right here. So if we were to go from this area right here, you see these, these conduits go into these fittings about five eighths of an inch. So that's why the line's up here. We're going to start right here. And this is the cross line, but we're going to make of course a 90 degree curve like this and then we're going to wind up over here and it's going to go into this fitting 5 eighths of an inch as well so it's going to go to right here so this is 30 inches from here to the cross line this is 20 inches from here say you have a 48 inch piece of scrap laying around Will it work to get from here to here? Or do you have to break out a brand new piece of EMT, which costs like three fifty, four dollars something like that? Here's a 60 inch conduit right here. It has a 36 inch tail, this area is called the tail, and a 24 inch stub. So that's a total of 60 inches. But when I made the, the curved 90 degree uh, stub, I gained two and three sixteenths inches. It says two and three sixteenths inches of gain on center. That's important because if you were to calculate it from the inside edge of the 90 degree side, uh, that would be a different figure and the outside edge would be a different figure. If you calculate it from the center, uh, with my bender, it's a half inch ideal bender, uh, I get two and three sixteenths inches of gain. So the question is, can we use this 48 inch piece of scrap EMT to get from here to here, which is a, a 50 inches if you go to the cross line. Uh, so uh, what you do, you take the 50 inches and you subtract off our two and three sixteenths inch gain. So then you have 47 and 13 sixteenths. That, that should do it if our calculations are correct. So I'm going to take this 48 inch piece of conduit and I'm going to measure 47 and 13 sixteenths. And I'm going to take my bandsaw. I'm going to take my reamer. And ream it out. So we have over here a 20 inch stub. So our bender says right on it, stubs five inches to arrow. Now that's on a half inch bender. On a three quarter inch bender, it happens to be six inches and so forth. But on a half inch bender, it says stubs five inches to arrow. So we have a 20 inch stub. So we're going to be making a mark at 15 inches. Okay, so we make a mark right here at 15 inches. So now I've put the arrow of the bender right on the 15 inch line. I'm going to put that down on the ground like this. You put, you keep pressure on the conduit the whole time so that it won't move. Okay, then you take your boot and you put it on the foot of the bender. It actually needs a little more bend. There it is right at 90 degrees. Okay, here's our conduit with the 20 inch stub. And we'll take, put this right into here. Tighten it down, put it in over here. And let's see where we are with the laser. 
So here you can see the green laser lines. They're right in the middle of the pieces of conduit. And so this is our 20 inch stub. And here's our 30 inch tail. It goes to right here. And we were able to make this with a 48 inch piece of scrap conduit, thereby saving us money. I'll put links in my video description for this DeWalt 12 volt max impact driver. It's really cool. It's not as powerful as the 20 volt max, but it's quick and it's light, which is a nice advantage. I'll put a link for the new uh, Klein tape measure with conduit bending tables right on the back of it. And I'll put a link for the brand new Klein laser bubble level. You just press this button to turn on and off the laser and you can make uh, level lines with this, uh, but it's not self-leveling, but it's uh, much cheaper than my nice cross-line laser level, which I'll also put a link for. I'll put a link for the DeWalt five-spot cross-line green laser level. It's a gem. It's a beauty to work with. And last but not least, I'll put a link for the brand new Milwaukee three and a quarter inch mouth bandsaw. It's lightweight, it's quick, it cuts great. Thank you very much.